jump back in and maybe see if we can finish our Star Trek Resurgence run here right now. I actually have no idea, but we're gonna we're gonna see. So if you watched the last episode, you might have noticed a little bit of a cut in the middle. There was a bit of an incident, and we lost, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes of intense escape action. Uh, but just imagine uh, a nice escape scene, and uh, they made it out safely. And then at the end, things ended a little bit abruptly because of a wasp egg. But uh, we're back now. And we're going to jump back in, right with uh, <coughs> Jara here heading to the new waypoint. Uh-oh. holding. I think we're okay. All right. Hey, now we're dead right on track. Oh. We were just past that thing. Build to away team. Energize. I have the first group of Elidians in the pattern buffer. Redirecting and transmitting to the Resolute now. the Olydians safely aboard. <laughs> we did it! I was so worried this wouldn't work. We got this. Of course we did. Never had a doubt. This is Commander Rydek. We're holding steady. Signal is good. Keep him coming. In my charge. Sir, I must insist you go so you can lead our people. I will see to any stragglers. Yes, that may be for the best. But first, let me thank our human saviors. I'll pin medals on your uniforms when this is over. For all your brave work. You're very welcome, Madam. To Starfleet, I need 
wear another fleet's medal? We will find out. We're ready for transport. Get the Admiral to safety. Energize. Get him out of here. to the annular confinement beam. I have the Illidians in the pattern of her, but I cannot resolve their signal to send them through to the Resolute, nor can I materialize them here. We need a better position with the Resolute. We have lost the 15 Illidians in the last transfer. I regret to report that we have lost the last transport. No, my comrade. The Admiral. Unfortunately, our shuttle systems were damaged by power surge. We can no longer serve as a transporter node. Carter, the readings are off the chart. came on board. Right. The Zikon energy die, source. They call it the Cartabula. It's here. Is that? The intruders are preparing to bring the Zeldi to war. And we're about to be stuck on it. There is an old Lydian saying about leaping off the hot skillet and falling to the flame below. Yeah, we got that one too. We don't know where this ship is going, but we are not lost. We can still do something. We can still fight. And we'll stop them from getting the Cartabula wherever they're taking it. Fight the Orc. I like this plan. And I shall fight with you. That's all well and good. But if we're not getting off this ship, we're really backed into a corner. We can't get off this ship. But maybe I could target somewhere on, on the ship. ship. We are reading the warp engines powering up. Yeah, we picked up on that. We do not have a way to evacuate you from the Zeldi. The shuttlecraft is too heavily damaged. That's all right, Commander. We have a plan of our own. We're gonna stay on this ship. That is very bold of you, Mr. T.S. Live long and prosper. I hear voices down the corridor. Be here soon. I'll guard the door. You just get us out of here, Diaz. Hey, Stretch. Help us with this map. Find somewhere as remote as you can. They're almost here. Crew 
Others? High traffic. Easily accessible. There. The aft cargo bay. That is acceptable. Sounds good to me. Whatever you're doing, do it now! We're locked in. And for the transport. Out. many lives. And our people on the Zeldi knew the risks their duties entailed. Contact the Resolute, Mr. Chobok. Have them bring us back. Yes, Commander. I wonder if it would have happened the same either way. Maybe we should have made them like us more. Saved as many Elydian lives as you could. And more importantly, you looked after your crew. That's what counts. You have to look out for your own, first and foremost. I just wish I could have saved them all. We all do. But you did the best you could. So, no point beating yourself up over it. Unfortunately, the Admiral was among those who didn't make it. I'm sure it's a huge blow to the Elydians. I hope they don't blame us. We suffered our own losses as well. How are we getting our away team back? Ambassador Spock and the rest of the senior staff are waiting for us in the briefing room to discuss just that. I wanted a chance for you and I to speak first, given the circumstances. While protocol might suggest we alert Starfleet about our situation, missing crew, the data breach, possible threat from the Hatari or Takan. I think we're better off keeping this to ourselves, under our control. You know what's at stake for me here, and what is at stake for you, too. I can't afford another mission gone wrong, and I'm really counting on your support. I don't want to raise a false alarm just yet. I have every confidence we can wrap this up before it gets any worse than it already is. I'll follow your lead. And keep this under wraps for now. Always nice to know you have my back. One of the primary reasons I brought you on board. You made the right decision. You should know you can always count on me, no matter what. I appreciate that. We're ready in the briefing room, Captain. On our way. I'm with you, Captain. Is there any update on our efforts to trace the Zeldi's warp signal? 
Unfortunately, no. Somehow they were able to mask the signature and block our ability to track their trajectory. I'm also concerned about what went with them. A Taconian energy source. Sidron referred to it as the Cartabula. Yes, I've been analyzing your tricorder scans. This Cartabula is more powerful than any energy source on record. It disabled our ability to warp and likely created the Ion Storm. Something that powerful in their hands? We have to find that ship. It could be anywhere by now. Literally anywhere. I have faith in our away team. They won't give up easily. And if they can somehow manage to stay alive, then maybe they could get word to us about their location. That'd be a hell of a lucky break. Right now, we need all the luck we can get. The Takan also compromised our systems when Petty Officer Maris stole data from our computer core. We're assessing what was lost as we speak. It's just too soon to say exactly what they had access to. Starfleet needs to know about this. We're not contacting Starfleet until we fully understand the situation. There are too many unknowns. They stole our data. That's reason enough to warn Starfleet. But the captain does have a point. It might be better to wait until we know more. We either sound the alarm prematurely and look bad if nothing comes of it, or we keep this to ourselves and take the blame when it blows up in our face. Either way, we can't afford to get this wrong. Indecision is not without its own consequences. I want to speak with the Hotari and get to the bottom of this before we get Starfleet involved. I expect we'll meet resistance. The Hotari think we violated our neutrality by entering their mines. Assuming the negotiations are off, we no longer have an official role here. We still have a responsibility to the Hotari and the Olivians. The Takan are a threat to both their civilizations. No. They're a threat to us all. The device Commander Rydek found in the Taconian Vault is an advanced delivery mechanism for a complex biogenetic transformation process. Meaning what, exactly? Not only are they bioforming innocent hosts, transforming them into Takan, they're taking the DNA and engrammatic data of a specific Taconian and displacing that of its host. It's a hostile takeover on a cellular level. Bringing individual Takan back to life one by one. Is there some way it could be reversed? That's exactly what I've been trying to find out. So far, it appears the answer is no. Once the Taconian takes control, the displacement of the host is irreversible. And the bioforming appears to be permanent. Petty Officer Maris called herself a scion of the flame. Her computer had no information about it. She also shot the hell out of my ship as she escaped and nearly killed a few of our crew. But we know this about those scions. They're dangerous. The Takan have crossed a line. That much is certain. However, meeting with the Hotari could offer insight into their true intention. Under the pretense of an apology for betraying their trust. Trespassing on their territory. Given the options, this might be our best chance to find out more about what they have planned. I couldn't agree more. Gun, I can confirm we have regained warp capability and the use of our transports. Excellent. Commander Ermot, see if we can arrange a meeting on Hotari as soon as possible. As Ambassador Spock suggested, under the pretense of an apology. Aye, Captain. Nice work, everyone. You're long overdue for a Deridian infusion. It looks like I am. Get that Deridian. There we go. Aside from almost running out of Deridian, you're in good health. Nice to get some positive news for a change. You, I don't worry about. The captain, however. Go on. You see him, don't you? He's a He's desperate. Withholding intel from Starfleet just to save his reputation. That's not normal behavior for a captain. And you dodged the issue. We can't make mistakes. I go down as the most obvious thing a first officer ever said. Now, You've spent him. enough time with him now. We've Seen enough of how he yeah, runs the ship. If there's something wrong, as the ship's doctor, I need to know. 
don't shut it to me. You know I will. I think he's our captain, and I think this conversation is dangerously close to mutiny. Oh, she doesn't the like one that. who needs to decide how much danger we're in is you. I won't push it further. Jara, I'm watching the situation. Monitor your duridium levels. I'll be right back. How's your room? Lucky I was never there. I feel lucky you were there with me. Without you, I'd be lost. Thank you for saving my life. Even with the wonders of your technology, it wouldn't have mattered if you'd left me for dead. Oh, you got us I in there. I should be thanking you. You took that disruptor shot for me. Without you, I might be the one in sick bay, or worse. Well, I couldn't just let you die. Not after all you did to help. I won't forget it. You saw the truth behind those mines. What Sidron and Galvin really are. Who they've become. The lengths they're willing to go to. What they did to that Olivia. Olivia. It's hard to accept. That everything I thought I knew, so much was a lie. The horror of that underneath our feet the entire time. It's always better to know. No matter how awful, the truth is better than living with a lie. I am coming around to that thinking as well. Commander Rydick, you're needed on the bridge at once. What is it? The Hotari have agreed to meet. Ooh. Here we go. How to session stowaways. They haven't found us yet. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. If we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Alright, follow that guy. <laughs> Based on how this is reinforced, how do contains dilithium? Straight phaser blast could cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Ooh, gotta be careful. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. I'm right here. He's the electric brusher. Wow. Right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. There must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phaser. Low power, Ray. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Oh boy, it's phaser time. down. Hurry, Carter! I am! I'm hurrying. Only one left. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Here it comes. won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. After 
all we know, she was trapped, watching it happen. Fighting it the whole time. I did shoot at her when she was escaping. Maybe I deserved it. And I wanted you to do it. To stop her from being taken from us again. I know it seems like we could never trust her again. Wrong answer again. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship. Just because the Trill joining is permanent, doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. There is no such thing as just one life, and she is not lost. Mm -hmm. This isn't calculus. We can't just break it down by the numbers. Perhaps that's why my admiral and everyone else in the final transport was lost. A problem with your calculus our losses are mounting yours are just beginning we're stuck on this ship same as you i'm blocked out of helm control propulsion and they're closing down systems faster than i can check them Ugh. they're always changing these interfaces i can hardly keep up Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. I'm good. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. The Zelda, and that's where we are. That's not exactly news. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines. They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies, controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. But it doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship. I said something so right. We don't end up so there. far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. Well, where do we gotta go? What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two-way communication. Let me see if I could put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Oh, clearing it up. Okay. That should do it. Got it. Hello. Can you read me? It's Tosca. Is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed. And ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Katarska, are you still there? All right. Well, good. Bring him in, bring Tosca. him in. Are you still there? Bring him in. You shouldn't trust anyone else you meet. 
Atari have been transformed into knowledge. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. Trust goes both ways. We trust you. You trust us. I'll go with that. Until you give me reason not to. That game is strange. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. If I can get us there, safely, through the back routes. Stay tuned.